Let's talk about entering the four parks at Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. There are a couple different ways to do it. If you have a magic band from a previous visit, you can certainly bring that. Disney says that the battery life is about three years for these. There's no way to check these before you travel, um, but what you can do is bring those to the front desk when you check in, have them check them there, so that way when you get to the turnstiles of whatever park is your first park, you will not have to wait um, because your battery doesn't work on your magic band and you haven't set up Magic Mobile on your phone. So these are the magic bands. They have Magic Band Plus now, um, which I don't have for the video, but those are the ones that have the interactive features. Magic bands do not come included with packages as they used to. So if you, once you book your package, you can go on through the app and I do have a separate video showing you how to customize those and get those delivered to your home before you travel, whether you want to do Magic Band or whether you want to do the Magic Band Plus. Then you, if you choose not to purchase anything, you do not have to. I do love the ease and convenience of these. If you have little kids, you can wear the little kids. If you're afraid they're going to be messing with these and taking them on and off, you can still wear theirs and that's fine. You'll just have to help them at the turnstiles. Um, but I certainly hold on to my kids right now because I know they will be on the ground. There's also the option to set up a Magic Mobile Pass through your My Disney Experience account. So in the documents that I send, which I know there's so many documents, um, but there are instructions for how to do that. And that is free. You can set that up for all the members of your travel party, and then you will use your Apple or Android device and tap that at the turnstiles um, to get into the park. And then there is the third option, there is the key to the world card. So that is just looks like a credit card, um, a plastic card. I have a bunch of them, but my kids have confiscated them to use those with our shopping and grocery paraphernalia that we have here. So I can't even find one right now, but basically that will serve as your, um, as your key to get into your room and then also your ticket for the park. And you'll just have to pull that out each time, um, you want to go into your room or each time that you enter the park. So a couple of different options. Um, you do just want to make sure that you have one of these before you go to the park on your first day. So that way you don't have a delay getting into the park because the lines typically are long to talk to someone from the guest services team. Any questions, just let me know.